to the American League. The Orioles get the win over the Yankees 5-4, surviving in the ninth inning. Two recent call-ups for the Orioles to talk about. First baseman Ryan Hughes, three RBI in three games since getting called up. And uh, there seems to be some excitement around him in Baltimore. What do you guys think? Well, it's just, you know, the, the thrill of, uh, you know, Anybody the rookie call-up. Yeah, yeah. It, especially in Baltimore, right? But, uh, you know, the guy's a, 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 a really a, he's a mediocre prospect. But, you know, and I think I may have said this uh, last week in a podcast, that um, he's, he's, you know, you, you might as well give him a shot over Atkins. And I think they may be uh, moving into a platoon situation. I think you give Hughes as many as bats as possible because Atkins has just been a disaster for about three years running In the now. CBSSports.com AL Only Analyst League, I put a $21 bid. One over one fifth of my uh, budget on Ryan Hughes only because I needed a first baseman desperately. My my starting first baseman in that league were uh, Hank Blaylock and Brandon Snyder. Snyder is another Orioles prospect. There's just nothing on the waiver wire. It's a 12-team uh, standard roto. It's just very difficult to fill that spot. First base dries up quickly, and I made a big bad move. Spending too much on Joe Maurer and losing out on all the first basemen. But uh, also in this game, Phil Hughes was a little disappointed with his command. Uh, didn't get deep deep enough into the game to get a w- – actually, he had the lead, right? And the bullpen blew it? Yeah. Right. Uh, frustrating, but you got to keep Hughes out there. And Alfredo Simone. Yeah, Simone came in. He gave up two runs in the ninth, but they were unearned. And watching him last night, he's – Got impressive stuff. I'm trying to remember the name of the guy. For some reason, I can't. The big, tall, right-handed scrub on the Orioles that they thought was going to break out every year. is like six foot Daniel eight. Cabrera. Yes, Daniel oh. Cabrera. And, and he looks a little bit like him, but hopefully he's, he'll be better <laughs> than uh, Daniel Simone Cabrera. Simone already had his Tommy John surgery, so that's yeah. good news. Yeah, he looked good, <laughs> and they don't really have a closer, and they went with him last night. And uh, even though he gave up a couple of hits and the run, he seemed to have impressive stuff. And so I think they're, keep an eye on they're done with Jim Johnson as a uh, – Closer option. They're going to keep him where he's comfortable in the setup role. Uh, one thing I'm looking at is uh, Koji Wehara is on a rehab assignment and is going to pitch again Thursday. After that, he could be recalled in the major leagues. He could be the guy that replaces Simone. So, AL only. If you're putting your FAB on Simone, uh, save it for Wehara. I think that's the guy they could go with as a closer. Justin Verlander pitched well, but he was nothing compared to Francisco Liriano. Liriano tosses eight shutout innings. Twins win 2 nothing. Liriano's now giving up less than one earned run per game. Uh, you so he can't touch this guy. Done good. Oh, he's back. He is back in Cy Young caliber good. Yeah, I think I made the wrong wrong choice yesterday. A tough choice. And, and again, Verlander pitched pretty well. Yeah. Um, again, extremely inefficient. Uh, I think this time it was 123 pitches in less than six innings. So, wow. yeah, uh, you know, that's that's not a great sign. Um but, uh, you know, he was effective nonetheless. Roush had a bad uh, outing there and uh, blew a save, uh, but then he's back again. Seven saves. I just love twins. I love the twins all around. What about Jason Kubel, though? He said he won 77 with two home runs. Uh, streaky, he'll come back. Yeah, very streaky. Due for a regression anyway. This is kind of ridiculous. Um, I did bench him for this week. Uh, so that kind of shows Why do for a regression? He's right in the middle of his prime. Uh, take a wild guess. Baby, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Boston 2, Toronto 1. Another good outing for Clay Buckholz. This one, even better than the last. Eight innings, one run. You got to own this guy now? Think oh, so. I think it's too late if you haven't already owned him. The, the day that they decided Wakefield was going to go to the bullpen, I like got a little giddy and you know different parts of me started to move. And <laughs> so Clay Buckholz... <laughs> Clay Buckholz is a must own. That 10K performance, his ERA is 219. He is the Red Sox best pitcher right now. And yeah. that's a pretty good thing to say because that's a pretty good rotation. Well, Lester goes tonight, and we'll talk about him later. But how about the Rays over the A's? No, hold on. You're, you're, you're <laughs> skipping uh, Ramon okay. Ramirez. Okay. Another circumstantial save. Papelbon pitched a couple yeah. games in a row. I hate how they baby, baby Papelbon. It just frustrates the heck out of me. Um, that guy can, pitching a lot lately. Now, now I, that's, that's, I don't care. Throw him out there. Save every game. If he needs to well, save 160 games. Well, do you feel the same games, way about Ryan Franklin? No, because he's not as good. Franklin well, is Well, I don't sketchy. think they do that with Franklin quite as often as but they, they did with it Papelbon last night. either. They did it last night. Yeah. But the problem is the Red Sox, since Papelbon came up, they have babied him, and it's just it's, – I don't understand it. Okay. Rays over the A's, 8-6 in Tampa. Reed Brignac homered his first of the season. What is his value? It's going up. It's going, going up, but you know, not not much until he settles into a role. They're still sorting out the whole Sean Rodriguez, Ben Zobrist, uh, Brignac triumvirate there. So, 
Uh, you know, I th- he's a guy that I think, you know, for now, except in deeper leagues, you, you get him, you stash him because as a full-time player, yeah, he, he does have some value. He, he has some pop, uh, you know, pretty good pop for middle in, infielder. He'll give you a good average. So, okay. uh, you know, he's, he's not, not there yet, but... Uh, he's shown more consistency than Rodriguez. And when yeah. you're the, the Rays, um, it's almost like you'll take the consistency because you don't need... You don't need the high ceiling. They got plenty of offense, yeah. plenty of pitching, plenty of everything. And Rodriguez isn't the defender Brignac is, so that's problematic if you're you're waiting for Rodriguez to have the big breakthrough. But Brignac's consistency um, is, is going to win out, I think, right now, unfortunately. And I've been the other way the whole time. Ben Sheets, awful, awful. Uh, but he gets another start this week, so he can come back. Some more struggles on offense for the White Sox. They lose 4-2 to two to the Rangers. Now, for Texas, Justin Smoke went 0-2. for two. He's batting 0-77. Oh, yeah. Does he have to prove something before you put him on your roster? Well, he, he didn't for me because he's playing you this week in the, in the podcast league. Uh, <laughs> he's going to be about as productive as I You started him in a mixed league at first base. I did. Hmm. Uh, Shouldn't be doing Actually, that. utility, but, you know. Oh, even worse. You got all those outfielders to choose from. Well. Who'd he, you bench him? Who'd you bench for? I honestly don't don't remember at this yeah. point. But, they um, must not have been that good. Yeah, I'll no, look it, it up. It wasn't. But, but that guy should not be active in mixed leagues. In fact, we skipped over Ike Davis. Um, that's a guy I'm changing my tune on. We'll talk about that a little later, though. Uh, how available is Paul Canerico, who has eight home runs this year? Uh, he's not available at all. I think he's owned and active in all leagues. In fact, if he's the utility you benched, you no, made a he's, mistake. He's not. Wasn't, wasn't somebody that good. Um, but, but, you know, just, actually, just to, to get back to that point about Smoke, I, I do agree with you, by the way, in principle. But, you know, that said, I mean, if, if you've got some weak options, I think even in a mixed league, you know, with Smoke, you roll the dice for a week or two yeah. uh, because he does have that, that incredible upside. Yeah. But uh, early, it's real early for Smoke and Davis. We'll go. We'll talk about that more later. Vladimir Guerrero played his first game in the outfield. That's significant because the DL assignment for Nelson Cruz could keep Vlad in the outfield. He just needs a couple more games for uh, eligibility in many leagues. That is very important oh, for yeah. my teams where I have Vladimir Guerrero because I, I really need him in the outfield, or you probably do too. Alex Rios, uh, that boy is a running fool. Six <laughs> steals. He's actually holding water right now at 271 amid that uh, struggling White Sox lineup. And uh, Frank Francisco, another situational save. Um, Feliz has struggled, but he's actually thrown multiple days for the first time, and he gave up that two those two homers uh, yeah. the other day. So Francisco was the one they were going to go to, and he actually did pretty well. So that could be a situation where they're, they're making a, a switchback. Zach Granke threw seven scoreless innings, but the Royals still lost. Mariners <laughs> beat up the KC bullpen, and they went 3-2. to two. David Ardsma, seventh save of the year, Al. Going to keep it up? Yes. Oh, I'm 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 turning around on this. I'm I'm Yay. not there yet. But well, here's here's the thing. It's conditional, because my 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 beef with him always was the control. He improved it last year. You know, not enough for me to trust him. But he's taken more baby steps this year. So if he keeps that up, if he if yeah. he keeps the improved command, there's absolutely no reason why he can't uh, keep up uh, this this. Uh, and I think a, a lot of people lost sight of the fact when he was coming up through the Giants organization, he was groomed as a closer of the future. What what kind of blurred the message was he was dealt to so many teams, he bounced around to the Red Sox and then the Mariners, and then people kind of like I think he was even with the Blue Jays in there, right? He might have even been with the Blue Jays. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the bouncing around the teams kind of like okay, this guy's not a prospect. But when he was coming up the Giants, he was actually a closer of the future. All right, like and Granky, spend... we are, we already warned you about it, but you know he's not going to win 15 plus games. I'd like to spend more time in that game, but we have got to uh, wrap things up. Indians all over the Angels, 9-2. This is our last American League game. How about Austin Kearns? Five RBI on Tuesday. He's got homers in Murdering back-to-back lefties. games. Exactly. Pick him up. He's, he's got such a limited role, and if he expands beyond that, he's really going to lose whatever value he's got. So deeper ale only leagues, sure, why not? Um, but that's I'm not going to go any farther than that. With but in a, in a week where they're playing a lot of lefties, you've got to look at him. And Mitch Talbot, 3-1 and one with a 2.05. You know, I have been talking down on the Indians' rotation behind Fausto Carmona. I think Carmona is pretty valuable in mixed leagues. But the Indians are actually pitching real well with those young guys. Mm-hmm. Talbot was a guy that was a prospect with the uh, – First with the the, with the Rays. With, with the Astros, then with the Rays, he was traded for someone really good, and I don't remember who it was. Um, yeah, bummer. But uh, you know, Talbot was a prospect at one point, and he kind of just kind of got shuffled around, like okay. I said with Arzma. So that wasn't the Shopic deal, was it? Mm, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Anyhow, but, yeah, we'll 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 uh, look that okay. up and get back to you. 